Hello, how you doing? Uh, welcome to today's review. I'm going to tell you about what I consider to be probably the best three season sleep system money can buy. Specifically this mattress, I'll tell you all about it in a minute. But this is the Trekology UL80 Davy Boy Goes Wild review. Stay tuned. Right, so in this video, it is going to cut backwards and forwards between a couple of cameras. What you're looking at here is the UL80 Trekology mattress, and on it is the Aleft Airlift 2.0 pillow. Now, this at the moment is sitting inside a Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 tent, and as you can see, it fits in absolutely beautiful there's about six eight inches either end so it's a good size mattress it is a bit bigger than my Xped Sinmat 7 medium um, it's probably about a foot longer than that to be fair but it does fit in beautifully now I'm gonna try and come down here and see if I can show you this what you will notice is it looks like it curves up at the sides and actually it doesn't look like it it does and that is a very clever design feature I've spent now six nights on this thing and I've got to say after one night I was convinced it was the best mattress that money can buy and I will point out at this moment in time I was actually sent this mattress by Trekology to review. However, I will point out good and bad. And there is, I wouldn't call it bad, but there is something I would change if I designed the mattress, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I bought the pillow, I bought the chair, I bought the chair mat. I really like Trekology's products. So the fact it was sent to me will not impact my review in the slightest. The first thing is, it sits on the curved edges at about nine and a half cent well, nine centimeters tall. It is a very, very high mat. That makes it incredibly comfortable. And I'm not just saying that. Uh, you'll see Joshua in a minute say that. If you go and have a look at Paul Mesner, Paul Mesner, who's got, I don't know, 50,000 plus subscribers, uh, he's got this and he absolutely loves it I can't believe that a mattress that costs half as much as my Xped is not only twice but probably ten times more comfortable in all of my reviews you will see that I say I don't like mattresses that have baffles that go from side to side because I roll off them and the thing I loved about the Xped was the fact that the baffles run top to bottom and I could find a part in the middle to fall into and I didn't roll off it. It wasn't the most comfortable night's sleep, but it was really comfortable. I know that sounds strange, but it was a compromise between not rolling off the mat, which meant I didn't wake up on the floor cold, and being pretty comfortable. With this, when you lie on it and you lie in the middle, the edges actually curve up even more and almost hold you in place. And I am, as you saw from the intro, quite a big fella. And some people might refer to me as a fat bastard. Uh, and I probably refer to myself in that category. But I'm a tummy sleeper and a side sleeper. Now on this, when I'm on my side, I can actually feel the curves in the mat holding me in place. And if I try to roll backwards, it almost feels like it's pushing me back onto the mat. It just stops me falling off it. It really is incredible. Now, I've done a separate video of the pillow, which I'll put a link in the description. And I, if I can, because I'm not brilliantly technical at this, I'll put a link on the screen. And I reviewed this pillow probably two, three months ago, and I said it was the best pillow I've ever bought. And I have bought probably close to a dozen pillows. 
this is my one, two, three, four, five, sixth mattress. Now, at the start of the video, I said this is the best sleep system money can buy. And I wholeheartedly, honestly, once you've blown this thing up, completely agree. I'll give you a few pointers on that in a second, because if you don't have a snozzle, you need to be buying one, because this takes an awful lot of air. And again, if you've just hiked up a mountain and you're out of breath and you want to blow this up, it would take you forever if you didn't have a snozzle. And I'll show you what that is in a minute. Now, I said sleep system because if you look at my review of the pillow, one of the things with the pillow is, as a bigger guy, I found most pillows weren't tall enough. I'm going to come over here. That when I slept on my side... I'd get neck ache and all sorts of things. Whereas with this pillow, I don't. It just works brilliantly. The other thing is I haven't put it on and because I'm hand holding the camera, I'm not gonna do it. I'll take a picture of it in a minute. But it has a strap that goes around the mat and holds the pillow in place. So this is a complete sleep system and it is incredible. Now I'm gonna change cameras I'm going to pull back a little bit and I'll tell you a few of the differences and I'll tell you about the snozzle. Hi, welcome back. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to deflate it to start off with, which seems funny. But you just pull this valve out. I'm not going to fully deflate it, but you'll get the idea. Right. So, the mat is somewhat deflated. It has two, a two-way valve on here. To deflate it, you pull the valve open fully. And to inflate it, I'm doing this one hand while I try and hold the camera nice and close, you've got a one-way valve. Now, I call it one-way because when you blow into it, what happens is the air stays in there and it doesn't come out. Now, I'm going to show you what a snozzle is. I should have undone this before. This one's made by XPED. I do not know, for the life of me, if Trekology make one. If they do, buy it. It'll save your life. And it is really big. Now, at the end of it, it has a valve that opens and closes. And that, actually, will fit into the Trekology inflator valve. And then all you do is jiggle that bag up and down a couple of times and it traps air. Close it up like a normal dry bag and then squash the air out of it. Now there's a couple of advantages to this. And I'll explain them in a second. I'm just going to finish blowing the mat up. But what you'll see is a lot quicker and a lot less painful than blowing it up by your mouth. See? Do one more. Uh, so the whole thing, uh, when I... from. from Unrolling it to blowing it up takes about a minute and a half, two minutes. It takes four bags to blow this up. So. And there she is, all nicely blown up. Right. Now, because it is that one-way valve, as I say, when it's done, you can just take this off. Now, what I find is, I just put then one or two last breaths in there. And that just makes it nice and firm. Close that down and it's ready to go. So, let me just grab the pillow. Do this inside the tent when it's flat, it's a lot easier. But when you put that on there, it doesn't move around. But the reason I've got the pillow is to show you this. 
And this is the only thing, I'm not, I don't dislike, but it's the only thing I think Trekology could have done to make this map better. There's a little valve here. Now, if we open that valve, inside, there's a little nipple that sticks up. And when you press that, it lets a little bit of air out and you can get it to exactly the level of firmness that you want. Now, on the mat, it doesn't have that. When you pop this out, what happens is, all of the air comes out. The reason I say it's not a major negative is after you do this the first time, you know how firm you like the mattress. Now, when I said before, doing it with the snozzle, there's a benefit to it. What the benefit is, is if you blow into this, you blow moisture into it. You also blow in warm air from inside your body at body temperature. If this is colder conditions winter time, as that air cools, cool air condenses and the mattress goes down a little bit. So if you use the snozzle and you're capturing ambient air temperature air, it's not going to condense anywhere near as much and consequently it won't go down anywhere near as much. So that's one of the benefits of using the snozzle. And the other thing is it won't get full fill with moisture from evaporated air out of your body. Um, so bacteria is not an issue. What I'm going to do is roll this up. I'm not going to show you how to roll it up because everybody knows how to roll up a mat. But I'm going to show you how nice and small it gets when you do roll it up. So bear with me. So I don't want you to just take my word for it. Last night, the boy, Joshua, uh, and I had a sleepover in the tent. Um, I spent most of the night on the UL80 and Joshua was on the X-Ped, which I think you can see there. Um, and then this morning we switched so Joshua could get a bit of a feeling. So what did you think of it, Joshua? So um, the UL80, when I switched through this morning, it is very comfortable. I think it's a lot more comfortable than my regular mattress I've got on my bed. Sitting on it right now, it's a really comfy chair. So I would recommend picking this up. Very comfortable. There's a lot of support on it and it is quite breathable. And what about the X-Ped? The X-Ped, it is comfortable. It's a bit harder, so I think that makes it a bit more uncomfortable. It's not as comfortable as um, the UL80. Also, these little ridges in here, because it looks like a bunch of frankenfurters. Yeah. <laughs> it's got that. They can be comfortable if you're in the right position, but if you're not, your back sort of in a ditch and out of a ditch at the same time. Okay. You need to kind of find the centre of your back and try and put them in one of the ridges. So if you were off for a wild camp, yeah. and both of those were sitting on the shelf side by side, yeah. which one would be the first one you'd grab? I'd definitely go for the UL80. You would? The okay. The Xped Sin map, it, it is a very good map, but um, Trekology UL80, it is better, and I would pick that up. Excellent. All right, buddy, thank you very much for doing your review. Okay. Welcome back. That's it rolled up with the pillow. It comes with a little stuff sack that it fits into nicely. Now, the stuff sack is very generous, so even if you are not great at rolling it up, there's gonna be no problem. In there, you get a repair pouch, which is this bit here. So if you do happen to pop it, there's a repair patch in there. This one happens to be part of the kit that comes with the X-Ped. Uh, and what I do is this is always, I always get all of these little bits together keep them in one bag and keep them in my backpack because then it doesn't matter what mat I've got, where I go or whatever. But let's say that goes in there. Nice little drawstring, pull it nice and tight. That's it guys. It really is that small. It is absolutely beautiful. 
So, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll give you a summary in a second when I stand up, because then you won't have to look at this. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. All right, in conclusion, guys. And when I say guys, I mean guys and gals. You know that, right? As I said at the very beginning, I was sent this to review it. I didn't buy it. However, if I had my time over again, I 100% would buy this. I, as a bigger fella, I've uh, been doing this for years, camping, and I have struggled and struggled and struggled to find a mat that I can truly say is just incredibly comfortable. 100% this one, by far, is the most comfortable mattress I've slept on. It is about as close to sleeping on my memory foam mattress in my bedroom as money can buy. In the video you'll also see the Xped Sinmat 7 UL mat that I bought for £105 um, and I've ranted and raved about that, you'll see that in a few of my videos. This thing at less than half of that price blows that mat in terms of comfort out of the water. I've not tried this mat in the winter, that's the only thing I'm waiting to do but it's not winter so I'm just going to have to wait and see. The other thing I will say, I haven't got it with me, I wish I did, but I also carry, or used to, to carry a, a Z-mat, which is a concertina Z-mat. I think I've got a picture of it on one of my backpacks, I'll, I'll drop that in sort of here. Hopefully you've just seen it. Um, and I used to put that underneath all of my mats. Because of this and the height of this, don't need it, don't need it at all. So it's freed up a big chunk of space at the bottom of my mat or at the top of my mat. I think if I'm in the Phil Raven backpack, I put it at the top of the backpack. If I've got the Offspray, it's at the bottom of the backpack. Um, so whichever one I've got the photo of, you'll see. This blows up to, not a word of a lie, something like that deep. Super, super comfortable. One of the and I use the word criticisms lightly because I had seen this mat over and over and over again I'd seen lots of reviews and it was something that I was seriously toying with buying one of the things a few of the people have said is it's a little crinkly, it's a little noisy now I'll be 100% honest I only found it probably 10% noisier than my x -Ped and when Joshua, and you'll see, I've got, Joshua is my boy, uh, he's had a go on this, as well as a lot of other people, um, he didn't even notice it was any noisier. Now, I also sleep with earplugs in, because I don't want to get woken up by the tent flapping around, so to me the noise level is not a consideration. One of the reasons I didn't go out and just buy it after seeing all the reviews was the people that had said how noisy it was and it's not that noisy. It is literally not that much noisier than any other mat that I've had. And in fact, I would say it was quieter than my Berghaus mat. So if you're looking at some of the reviews out there, and there are some brilliant reviews, mine are, you know, mine are what they are. Fat guy goes camping, takes equipment. Um, and the only thing that puts you off is the noise. I would say don't worry about it because it is not any more noisy in reality than any other mat. It's slightly crinkly, not to the feel, but it's just the material it's made from. But it's only about 10% noisier, so don't let that put you off. I will give this another review in the winter time because I'm itching to try it out in cold and see if it insulates. The, one of the reasons I bought the X-Ped is it's a really good mat in the winter. It's got a R value of I think 4.6, 4.7 very well insulated um, however this is very very thick um, and I don't know how well that's going to insulate because no matter what I did on this I couldn't feel the bottom um, so I think it will heat up quite well I don't know I'm speculating so in the winter I'll do another review and you'll see that one 
uh, if Trekology let me keep it that long. Um, and it may be that I do need the Z-mat for it in the winter time. But I'll tell you, if it's a choice of taking this and the Z-mat, or taking the X-ped and the Z-mat, I will take this. It is incredibly comfortable. I can honestly not tell you any more than that. Uh, and again, they're not paying me to say that. If it's bad, I'll tell you. And I did point out in the video one of the little things that, not that I didn't like, but once you know about it, you can make do, not make do. That sounds bad as well. I'm not trying to put you off. The, the valve, there's no soft air release, so it's either fully open, fully closed. Whereas on the pillow, you can tweak and let a little bit of air out. So when you're blowing this up, you sort of need to blow it up to the firmness level you think you're gonna want it. Try it, maybe need a bit more firmer. You're better off going that way than trying to let air out. Um, I did that once and for six nights after that, not a problem. I slept in it last night and you'll see with Joshua in a second. Uh, and I'm out in it, not tomorrow but the next night and then I'm off to the Brecon Beacons for four days with it. This will be my go-to mat, it is just incredible. Um, and it's, it's less than 50 quid, which I've also got one of those teeny little thin pack down really really small really light mats that was about 24 25 pounds and I'm not joking it doesn't pack down smaller than that so why take that when you could take this anyway that's my rant and rave over 100% um, honestly absolutely love this mat as you can probably tell uh, it is brilliant like everybody else out there says it just does exactly what it says on the tin and it's now my go-to mat so thanks very much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you can hit the like subscribe and all of that good stuff um, keeps the channel alive keeps it going and gives my boy something to look at because he loves how popular it's getting especially with the videos with him in it so thanks very much guys have a great weekend take care get out there and get some camping done see ya